WordPress.com versus WordPress.org. What is the difference? Well, that's what I'm going to tell you in this quick video. For anybody who's new to the channel, first off, welcome. And my name is Paul from eCommerce Gold, and we do lots of e-commerce related content on this channel. So if that's something you're interested, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, if you find this video helpful, please smash that like button as well. So what is the difference between these two WordPress options? Because it's something that I get asked quite a lot. Well, the main difference between the two is WordPress.com is the hosted version of WordPress and WordPress.org is the self-hosted version of WordPress. But what does that mean and what are the pros and cons of both platforms? Well, the first thing when it comes to hosted is with it being fully hosted, it means with WordPress.com, you don't have to worry about any of the hosting of your site. You don't have to worry about your site's performance, things like that. That's all taken care of you by the guys at WordPress. Whereas with a self-hosted one, you choose your own hosting provider and then you install the WordPress software and then it's up to you as how you run your website. So those are the main two differences is the way they operate. But there's a few pros and cons to both these platforms, as I've already said, and I'm going to jump into my computer so I can show you exactly exactly what these pros and cons are. So the first thing we're going to look at is WordPress.com and the pros. The first pro is you get your hosting included. This means you don't have to worry about choosing a hosting provider. It's all provided for you by WordPress.com. You get a free SSL certificate. You also get a free .wordpress.com subdomain, which is free to use for life. If you want to use your own domain name, you are going to have to upgrade to one of the paid packages, not on the free package, unfortunately. Talking about packages, you do get a free plan for life with the .wordpress com domain name if you want to use your own domain name as i said you will need to upgrade to a paid package one of the main pros with wordpress.com is it's very easy to use and it's very easy to get started which is why lots of people choose it when they're first starting out blogging and finally the one pro that is useful to most people especially if they've got no tech knowledge is there's no optimization required on your end it's all taken care of for you but what are the cons with wordpress.com well, to access all the features, things like being able to upload your own theme, be able to use plugins and things like that, you're gonna have to upgrade to a paid package. And if you wanna use plugins, you're gonna have to upgrade to one of the top packages, which are the business or the e-commerce package, which aren't cheap. And the next thing is you do get limited amount of plugins and themes that you can choose from. Even on the top packages, you don't get access to the full WordPress library like you do with wordpress.org. There's only a few selected themes and plugins that you can use. With the free plan, you do get WordPress branding and WordPress ads put on your site. It's their way of making revenue for giving you a free website. This is removed as you moved onto the premium packages, but with the free package, you are gonna have to know that you're gonna have branding and advertising placed on your website, whether you want it or not. There's limited customization options. So when it comes to theme customizations, the layout of the website, the features you have on your website, you're very limited. There's a much smaller amount of options available than there is on wordpress.org. So if you want to basically grow your website, add custom features, you're going to struggle to do that using a wordpress.com website. And finally is the cost of the most expensive packages, which are the business and e-commerce ones, which you're going to need if you want to have full access to all the features. Because here in the UK, it's £20 a month for the business package and it's £36 a month for the e-commerce package and this puts it squarely in line with other e-commerce builders such as Shopify and EKM at that price point and do you get the same kind of functionality and support? Mm, that is debatable. Arguably if you're building an e-commerce website then going for a purpose-built solution is going to be the better option than going for this WordPress.com hosted option. So that's WordPress.com. What about WordPress.org? Well with WordPress.org you have much more options in terms of customization. This is because it's got a far bigger ecosystem and you have access to much more on your website that you can actually do. There's more plugins you can install, there's more themes available, there's just lots of more customization options out there for you. Another thing is you're not tied to the WordPress.com hosting. So if you're on a web host with your self-hosted uh, WordPress site and you're not happy with the performance or the support you're getting, you can easily move your website to another provider. This is because it's your own website. You own it. You're not basically renting it off WordPress. When it's a self-hosted one, it's your website. 
As I've already mentioned, you get access to lots of customization options. You also get a massive selection of themes that you can use, both free ones in the WordPress theme library, but also from like theme marketplaces such as Theme Forest or even individual developers who are selling directly through their own site. There's a massive number of themes out there and that goes for plugins as well. You've got a massive plugin library to choose from and there's also developers out there producing premium plugins as well you have access to the source code on your website. And what this means is you can alter the CSS, the PHP, the code that drives your website, you can go in and alter. So if you wanna add custom functionality by using say a PHP code snippet, you can easily do this with wordpress.org. Even if you're using very basic hosting, you will still have access to this source code. And this makes it so much easier to make a website how you want it to be. Another thing with WordPress.org, there's a massive amount of resources available online when it comes to learning how to use the platform. There's people like myself who write guides, there's many others who do it, and there's just a massive amount of resource and knowledge online to help you get up and running with WordPress. As I've already mentioned, it's your website, you can do what you want with it. And finally, the software is completely free to use. Yes, you do have to pay for your hosting, but the actual WordPress software is completely free to use. It is open source software. But what are the cons with WordPress.org? Well, one of them is you're gonna have to pay for hosting. Yes, there are some free options out there, um, but honestly, you wanna go for the best hosting you can for the money. This is just because it's gonna make your WordPress site one so much better. Um, generally, WordPress hosting can be had from like five pound, five dollars or slightly less a month. There are some really good deals from some really good companies out there. One thing I would recommend if you are going for a WordPress.org site, make sure you go with a hosting company that uses light speed server technology because it just makes WordPress sites work so much better. Another kind is, uh, it's not really a con, but it is another price factor you're going to have to think about is to use a WordPress.org website, you're going to have to have your own domain name. So you're going to have to have your own .com, .co.uk, any, whatever it is, you're going to have to have your own domain name. You don't get a free domain name or free subdomain name the way you do with WordPress.com. It does have a steeper learning curve than the WordPress.com because basically you get access to more features on the site, things like code and optimization, things like that. So there is a steeper learning curve, but even though this is a little bit of a negative to start with, once you actually start using this and start learning how to do it, it will benefit you so much more in the long run because you'll be able to run and manage your own site effectively. So yes, it is a steeper learning curve, but it's worth it in the long run. Finally, you do need to optimize and secure your website. This is on you because it's open source software. So you're gonna to have to make sure that your website is optimized properly and that basically your site is secure as you can get it. And some of this is server side, some of it is website. So this is something you're gonna to have to do and I'd say it's part of the learning curve with WordPress, but there's a massive amount of resources out there to help you do this from plugin developers to bloggers, YouTubers, you name it, there's a massive amount of resources out there to help you through this learning curve. Now that is the pros and cons of both options, but who should use which one? Because it's often the question that people ask is, which one is right for me? Well, if you just wanna write a few blogs, you're not too serious about this, you don't see this as something you could potentially turn into a business or a career, then yeah, wordpress.com is a great option because you can either use the free package or use one of the cheaper packages. I think start from about four pound a month, something like that. And you can blog away to your heart's content. You don't have to worry about um, server side hosting, things like that. You can just go on, write a blog and then put it out there into the ether if that's what you want to do. But if you are serious about your website or you want lots of control or specific functionality for your site, then you're gonna to have to go wordpress.org. And it's the one that majority of bloggers use. I myself use it, the site you were just looking at, e-commerce gold, was powered by the wordpress.org software. It's because we have more control over it, the reason why we like it and we can scale it. So if you wanna turn this into a business, so maybe you wanna do um, put ads on your site, you wanna do affiliate marketing, you wanna do e-commerce, you wanna create a membership or subscription site, you can do this using the wordpress.org software. This is much difficult and in some cases impossible to do with the wordpress.com. So if you wanna have a full control over your website, you wanna build a business from the WordPress software, then my recommendation is to go with wordpress.org. 
Yes, it might take a bit longer to learn it, but it will pay dividends in the long run. So there you go, guys. Those are the two WordPress options out there. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have a say, please smash that like button. And thank you so much for watching. Once again, stay awesome, and I'll see you all in the next video.